Hello everyone. Up next in my animated reviews is going to be Deluxe Class Bumblebee. So let's go ahead and check him out. So now we have Bumblebee in his car mode. And it looks identical to the show version. It is very uh, small, but it fits in the palm of your hand. Not a whole lot of detail in his mode. The tires feel a little bit... Uh, cheaply put on and the headlights aren't exactly the same color as the rest of the body but it's really hard to tell and if you look there real close it's a little bit uh, shinier than the rest of the body and because of that uh, just not too much detail in the headlights it just it's really hard to tell from the distance that the car even has headlights and it does have the uh, emergency light on the top which is not removable and on the back here you can start to see some of the fake windshield that will become Bumblebee's chest and it has an add-on Decept or not Decept Autobot logo on the rear bumper which is silver And in the show, he also has these uh, rocket packs, which he gets in a later episode. And they snap on very easily. You want to, the way to remember which side goes on which is just this uh, screw is always on the bottom. And he looks very much cooler in this way with his. Uh, uh, rockets attached to his windshield, or not, not his windshield, his window, and back. Besides uh, having the rockets, he doesn't have any features in this mode besides being able to roll. Just based on the vehicle mode, I can recommend it just for kids because it is a Bumblebee is a very popular character, especially among kids, so this mode definitely would appeal to the younger audience. But as a collector, I cannot recommend it just based on this mode. It's uh, feels like a uh, cheap Tonka car, in my opinion. Now to start the transformation, you'd probably want to leave these on because the first step you're going to do is be moving these up. So these kind of give you a little bit of a uh, something to grasp onto while transforming them and you just kind of want to get these out of the way and put these all the way up and then we're going to take this entire section and rotate around and it's going to be kind of tricky because you more than likely will bump it in this so this will kind of get in the way. Just go as far as you can. Then you want to go ahead and rotate. Well you don't want to go as far as you can because you won't be able to rotate. You want to you don't want to go all the way this way. You want to give it about there. So you can rotate it like this. Then I'm just going to go ahead and separate the legs and rotate the front bumpers around and uh, spin these pieces here down which is a little tricky to do sometimes because they get kind of tightly wedged in there All right. Rotate this all the way down so his, uh, this fake windshield shield is nearly to his waist. Go ahead and separate the arms. Rotate them down a little bit. Move this back. Continue rotating down the arms. And you will encounter this problem, problem with this figure because his arms will 
tend to bump in and his, into this quite often. Rotate these in for now. And then rotate out the hands. Okay, now we have Bumblebee in robot mode. In this mode he is nearly identical. 100% identical to the TV show version. You can go ahead and remove the rockets if you want, but I just leave them on there just for extra storage because there's nowhere else you can really put them. Plus it looks kind of cool with him and his jetpack. His eyes are very big and they do have a blue light piping if I had a light behind it, you'd be able to see see just how uh, nice his eyes look, light pipe be, uh, with light coming through. And he does have a very, very, uh, er very arrogant smirk, which fits the character. Not arrogant. It's kind of uh, obnoxious, I guess. Very smooth looking. I like how they added the uh, black outline panel lines, just like uh, how they do with Gundam figures. And now he does have the uh, silver gold Autobot logo on his chest. His stingers just kind of stick out to the side. Which is a little weird looking. And I know his hands are yellow in the shell, but they blend in way too much with the rest of the body with this kind of yellow. They could have... Uh, did some uh, panel lines to set, put it on the finger lines that are in between the fingers to m just uh, make them stand out a little bit more. He has a little itty bitty screw in his crutch. His feet are a little bit awkward because they don't fully attach to anything, they just kind of hang loosely. And from the side, they look a little bit goofy. Now, this is my only real issue with this figure at all, is his weapon. You flip them out and together, and if you, th this is how it's supposed to look on the back of the packaging with his hands off to the side. But in the show, it's never like this. I don't think it would have been too hard to have something where, he, where the arm splits in half, and the hand rotates around and a stinger thing pops out. I think that would have looked a lot better than this. It just uh, looks a little weird and feels looks and feels like it's not too much uh, effort put into it. And it's an essential to transformation too that these are out. But other than that, I really like this figure. It's uh, a great display piece. It's extremely posable. He, you could give him a whole bunch of poses with this. Uh, even though I don't care for the feet all too well, you can't, it does allow for a great amount of posability. Along with the head, it has two joints in it. One, one at the very top and one connecting to the bottom. So there's one and there's another. And it does spin all the way around. So I'm very glad I've got this figure. It, I had doubts about the, getting this figure at first because I didn't like the prototypes I saw. It just looked too cheaply made in my opinion. But I'm very glad I get, got him. He is going to be very hard to find because Bumpy is a fan favorite among uh, little children. But he's going to be a good collecting uh, collector's piece for the adult uh, fans. So I definitely recommend him. Overall, I'm going to give him about an 8 out of 10. He's a good figure, but he's just missing that little bit of extra to make him really spectacular. Uh, until next time, thank you for watching.